few weeks ago, out of the blue, I got an email that had the most outrageously crazy compute module carrier board I've ever seen. I'll get to that in a bit. The email also mentioned this PCI Express card the carrier board was based off of, along with an offer to try it out on my Raspberry Pi. I was happy to take the card for a spin, and it's called the PCI Express 12-slot M.2 radio module carrier board. It's made by a Canadian company called Alftel Systems, and they make some wild gear. And I know what you're thinking, what the heck do you need 12 M.2 slots for? But let me ask you this question in response. If you had the option of one M.2 slot or 12, which would you choose? More is always better. Well, maybe not always. There was that time I let Redshirt Jeff buy an extra bottle of map gas. Well, for most Pi users, I don't think they'd need 12 slots, but there are certain users who can't get enough, and this board is a great companion. It's perfect for things like wireless security scanning. It's great for software like Kismet, which can be used for wireless recon and intrusion detection. In fact, that's one of the packages that comes with Kali Linux, and we all know from Mr. Robot that true hackers run Kali. So I see a running gnome. Old habits, they die hard. Anyways, to demonstrate the potential for this board, take a look at this outlandish and crazy little briefcase. This is the Airbud X9, and it includes eight Wi-Fi cards with 16 antenna. It makes the Wi-Fi pineapples like the ones they used in the Silicon Valley TV series look like tinker toys. Look, we set up a bunch of these at Hoolicon. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. What business does this thing have being plugged into a Raspberry Pi? Well, there are two things I've already been doing with it. First, I can test tons of different M.2 Wi-Fi cards and even test them at the same time without plugging and unplugging them. I've already gotten the Intel AX200 card working, and if you follow my Pi PCI Express card database online, you can follow my progress getting other cards like the Killer 1535 and the Broadcom 94360 running. I can also plug in other M.2 devices like Google's Coral PCI Express TPU. Did I mention Alftel sent me four of them to play around with? And there are a lot of other little devices that can be used too, like 4G or 5G modems. And while the slots are all E-key slots, you could technically use adapters to plug in M-key devices like, I don't know, NVMe SSDs, or even an M.2 graphics card like this little guy. But this card is not for everyone, especially since it's over 300 bucks. It's probably not something I'd recommend everyone buying a Raspberry Pi should have in their house. But what is for more people is another product that Alftel told me about. They're developing a new board with a working name, Seaberry. It'll basically be the most juiced Compute Module 4 carrier board you've ever seen. If you wanted PCI Express, this board has you covered and then some. In addition to a full 16x slot, it has a 1x edge slot so you can plug a board in parallel to the carrier board. It also has a full-size M-key M.2 slot for an NVMe drive, four mini PCIe slots, and four E-key M.2 slots. Just look at this thing, and it's all in a mini ITX footprint, so you could slap this thing in a tiny computer case and nobody would ever know you have the most PCI Express slots ever on a Raspberry Pi. On top of that, they're planning on adding an accessory for Power Over Ethernet standard 802.3BT, which would provide up to 70 watts of power through the onboard Ethernet jack. That could power all the PCIe devices with just one cable and still provide gigabit wired ethernet for the Pi. This thing would be a war driver's dream machine. I'm guessing a new version of the Airbud with it would be even more portable than the Intel-based version they're selling now. For my own purposes, I would love to have a mini ITX setup where I can plug in an M.2 NVMe drive, a fast Wi-Fi 6 card, and any other PCIe device in the full-size 16x slot and use them all on the Raspberry Pi at the same time. At this point, the main limit to my imagination is that pesky 5 gigabit bandwidth limit the Pi's processor has. But 5 gigabits isn't nothing, and future compute modules will hopefully do more than that. I asked Alftel how people could find out more about this new board, and they said you can check out their website or their Twitter account, Alftel Systems. I'm hoping they get this thing prototyped soon. It'll be an awesome compute module 4 board, especially if we can boot the Pi off NVMe storage by then. Until next time, I'm Jeff Geerling. NVMe SSDs or even M.2 graphics cards, I forgot to hold the card up. Here it is. I'm always bad at that. Let's try this again. This is the Airbud X-Nan. It's the perfect 
man, I use perfect three times in two sentences. That is just bad. 3BT, which would provide, I just hit my desk.